What is up, guys? Today, I'm going to be doing a breakdown on my two favorite softwares that I'm using every single day within my Amazon business. And I apologize because I have a little bit of a cold. So if it sounds like I'm losing my voice, that is why. But anyways, let's get right into it. So the two softwares are Selleramp and Keepa. They are both very powerful tools. This is Keepa over here, and this is Selleramp. And so just to give you a quick breakdown on kind of how it works, we can do so much through Selleramp. So for example, if we find a brand that we are trying to get approval to sell, AKA get ungated in, we can do that all through Selleramp. So in our eligibility here, if we're not able to sell the brand, we can go ahead and click manual ungate here. And this is where Amazon is going to have us request approval. And basically, whenever you're trying to get ungated in a brand, well, I just got automatically approved. But in general, when you're trying to ungate a brand, what you're going to do is submit an invoice of 10 units from an authorized distributor. So for Reebok, that could be Reebok.com. It could be Kohl's. It could be Finish Line. Any distributor that is legitimate, that is authorized to sell Reebok, you can purchase 10 units, submit the invoice of 10 units, and also a picture of the 10 units when you have the items in hand. And that is the general process for getting ungated. But anyways, that is not the point of the video. So just to give you a breakdown on Selleramp, the really cool part here, we can see our profit after all of the fees involved in our business. So for example, when you're selling Amazon FBA, your profit margin is going to be a bit lower than FBM just because you have the referral fee here, which is generally about 15%. You have the fulfillment fee, which is depending on the item, six to $7. Um, we also have our shipping fee. The cool part about shipping when you're doing FBA, it is so, so cheap compared to normal shipping. If you were just shipping a shoe out like this to a friend, it would cost you anywhere from seven to even $10. But with Amazon, it's only going to cost us about 92 cents because we are sending items in bulk and Amazon has access to discounted shipping for their sellers. Um, we also have our prep fee here. That is not something all of you will have. I'm only paying this prep fee because I use what's called a prep center, which is basically a warehouse, but a warehouse that I don't own. They work with Amazon sellers and e-commerce sellers like me, and they ship out all of our products on our behalf to Amazon or to the customer, and they charge us a fee to do so. So long story short, these are pretty much all of the fees we are incurring. That way we know in order to find this item profitably, we're going to need to be getting it for anywhere under $40 because that is how much we're making after fees for the $58 sell price. Um, we can also scroll down a little bit here on Selleramp and we can see all of the other sellers on the listing. <clears throat> and the cool part here is we can actually stock these other sellers and see what items they are selling. Because let's say this was a winning product. We can assume that they are doing the same sourcing strategy as us. So we can go to their store. We can see the other products they're selling over here. Guys, my voice is driving me crazy. So I'm so sorry, but I really hope you guys are enjoying this video. Anyways, um, they are selling Reebok, Nike, New Balance, Adidas, Brooks, Puma. These are all great brands. And so we can go through all of the items they're selling and try to find even additional profitable items. So for example, this Puma shoe here, I'm not sure that if this is profitable, this is one that I've sold in the past, but we can go ahead and take a look. So it's about $39.99. It looks like $29.99 here. Um, there could be some further discounts, so we can check that out. <clears throat> looks like it's just $29.99, but we also get 15% cash back. Um, cash back is super powerful when you're doing online arbitrage. Make sure to get both top cash back and Rakuten. It's free. And for every $1,000 we're spending, we're making an extra $50 to $100 in just net tax-free profit just from buying inventory. But anyways, um, it looks like this would not be a profitable lead. So we can keep sourcing and go through the items they're selling and try to find winners. So for example, these are $20.96. It looks like we can get these for $9.99. And there might even be a further discount. Um, let's see if they have email discount or anything like that. It looks like they don't. So you see it's selling for $20.96 on Amazon and it's $9.99 here. But even so, it would not be profitable in this case. Um, it looks like the lowest FBA seller is selling for $23. So if we're selling FBA, we would match that. So there's a little bit of profit, um, but really not much. That's not the type of item we're going for. I very rarely like to sell anything less than $40 because usually the profit margin is pretty low. Um, so we can go ahead and keep sourcing here. And obviously it's going to take some digging, but the more you do this and the more you find 
authorized, established distributors where you can buy products cheaper. It just gets easier and easier. Um, so it looks like we just found a winning product here. This is $39.99. Um, actually, I take that back. This would be break even. You see it's selling for $60.32 on Amazon. We could potentially get this even cheaper. Something we're always looking for. This is $50, but with the discount code, it's $40. Um, Puma might have some further discounts as well. Looks like they're sold out on a lot of sizes. We do get the cash back as well from Puma. Oh my God, I'm going to keep saying it, but my voice is driving me crazy right now. Anyways, um, I want to find a winning product while we are still on here. So let's go ahead and keep digging. <clears throat> we can see these shoes right here. Um, it looks like it's a little bit of a slower seller, but even so, um, that's not the same type of shoe. It looks like that's a different color that came up on seller amp. Um, maybe not. These ones are white. This is gray. Let's just look up gray and white. Looks like these are the right ones. Um, that would be $32.99. So there we go. Within 10 minutes, we found our first winning product where we are making $18 per unit. We could, there's only one seller, so we could realistically buy 10 to 20 units just of this item. And if it sells through at the current sale price, then we went ahead and found an item that could make us $200 to $400, depending on how many units you buy and the return rate, things like that. But overall, super simple and sourcing with SellerAmp. You can find so many winning products. There are plenty of people who make five, 10, even 15 grand profit per month just through this strategy. So I highly recommend it. Um, and just to do a little bit of a deep dive into Keepa as well, Keepa is another super powerful tool. It is more used to understand the data behind every single product. So for example, <clears throat> we can go to the data here. We can look at the buy box statistics. We're going to see which sellers have a majority of the buy box. And if you don't know what buy box is, that basically means how much of the share of sales each seller is getting. So it looks like this seller is getting 45%. The other is getting 33% then 12, then four. And even if you're getting 1%, that's fine because you're still going to get sales. <clears throat> but it's really cool, especially if Amazon is in a listing. We want to see what percentage each seller is winning on the buy box just to make sure one seller is not dominating the buy box. So in this case, they're not. We can also see the price history over the past three months, which sellers are winning the buy box. We can see this green chart here is the sales rank. The sales rank basically tells you how fast an item is selling. So just a general rule of thumb, the lower the sales rank, the quicker the item is selling. So anything under 100,000 sales rank means it is selling pretty quickly. Um, so in this case, it looks like it's a really fast seller. It's about 10,000 sales rank, which is why we can see here it's selling 100 times per month just in size 7, meaning some other sizes might be selling even better. Uh, we can see how many other sellers are on the listing. So in this case, it's only about 13 sellers, which is not too bad. Uh, the main thing I'm looking for here, I never want to see a huge rise in seller count because that could be an indication that the price is going to start to fall because if too many sellers hop in on an item, then they're going to start competing for price and lowering price, and then it's going to become less and less profitable. So in this case, it looks like there's a pre pretty stable amount of sellers, so not too worried here. Um, but yeah, we can go more and more into this. There is so much to it. We can also go into the variations tab here. And we can look at which sizes and which colors are the best selling. So in this case, we're going to be able to see how many sales each size and color did in the past month. So size 8 did 100 plus, size 7.5, 100 plus, you get the point. And it might say 100 plus, but it could very well be 200 or 300. But we know for a fact that minimum, these are selling 100 times a month just in this size. Um, you'll notice there are also different prices based on the different size. So for example, size eight is selling for $48, size 7.5 is selling for 55. Um, and you get the point. Some sizes are selling higher than others, which, you know, to a newbie, it might not make sense, but that's how Amazon is. Price is constantly fluctuating. Every single item and size and color, et cetera, has a different price, which is why we're able to do what we do and make profit. Um, so we can continue to scroll and see which colors are the best selling. And yeah, guys, um, there is so much data. We can also use a tool called Keep a Product Finder to source products. I'll get more into that in another video. 
but that is pretty much it. These are the main data points we are looking at. So just to sum it up, price history, the offer count, the sales rank, the buy box, the variations for which are the best selling, how many sellers are winning, what percentage of the buy box and things like that. And for SellerAmp, we are using it to source profitable products, see which other sellers are on the listing, how much stock they have, what our profit margin is after all of the fees we are incurring. And one last note on that, you'll notice when you do FBA versus FBM, FBM has less fees and that's because we are not paying the fulfillment fee with FBA. Um, I'm also not paying my prep fee and the shipping because you're responsible for shipping yourself. But usually the shipping is more expensive when you're doing FBM uh, because you're not getting access to Amazon's discounted shipping like you would when you're doing FBA, which means you are shipping the products to Amazon's warehouse in bulk. Um, so in this case, we can guess that we'd be paying around seven to eight dollars in shipping. Um, so we're still making slightly more profit than if we were to do FBA. But the con to that is that we need to ship out every single individual order to the customers because FBM stands for fulfilled by merchant, meaning that you are shipping, you are fulfilling the item yourself. You are shipping every order to each customer, which when you're doing hundreds of orders can get a little bit time intensive, but overall, it's still a great business model. Um, still a great strategy, especially for beginners, something I highly recommend. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe. I will be dropping a lot more sauce like this. And if you are looking for one-on-one -on -one guidance, somebody to hold your hand and help you start your Amazon business from zero to 100, go over specific brands that are very profitable, go even further on how to use SellerAmp and Keepa, and really just get access to so many different resources to help you succeed with Amazon, make sure to book a call. The link will be in my bio. And other than that, much love. I'm sorry I was so sick and that my voice sounds weird, but I promise I'll be better for the next YouTube video. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.